So we saw in the case of uh, local time that it, depending on uh, whether you assign it to a scalar or to an array, it will give you different results. Let's now look at some other place where there is such thing, which we call scalar and list context. Let's see this array at A, which contains four values, the four strings here. So that's what the con what at A contains. If you assign at A to at B, to the array B, what happens is that all the values are copied over to at B. So in the array B, we'll have the same exact strings as you had in the array A. And this is in list context, because on the left hand side there is an array, so we're expecting several values from the array. On the other hand, if you take this array and assign to the $C, which is a scalar value, this is called the scalar context, and to many people it would be surprising, but what happens in Perl, in a way a perfectly arbitrary decision, that this, this case $C will contain the number of elements of the array. So in this case it will be 4. That in, uh, alone probably is not very interesting though. The interesting part is here. Because if you put in the array in if, there is a condition here. So the condition needs to be either true or false, but in, it needs to be one value. So it's not a list of values, it's one exact value, like in a scalar context. So in this place, the array is in scalar context, meaning it will return the number of elements, which can be either zero if the array is empty, or some positive number if the array has array has content. But zero will behave like false in if, and any positive number will behave as true. So because of this decision of create of putting the number of elements here in the scalar context, you can write this expression, and this expression will say, if there is content in the array, then do them something. So it might be a little bit strange for people coming from other languages, but it's actually very nice to use, to use this. The same with uh, the while loop. Here again, there's a condition. So this condition is going to be true as long as the array has a con some content. So this basically says that loop over, loop execute the loop as long as a the a array has content. And well, at, I assume that at least something is trying to remove elements from this array in the block. So eventually it will become empty and then the loop will end. So now we saw a second case where assignment to an array or to a scalar provides you different results. And this is how scalar and this context work. We'll see a couple of more examples in the future.